Hey guys, it's your girl Candace here with Swipes and Giggles where we give you the 411 on online dating and a little bit more. And obviously it's me, Candace. Like I say every single time. As you can see, I got eyelashes on. Now are they on correctly? Who's to judge, okay? But I told y'all I wasn't going to keep coming back on here looking ugly like I had been. Okay, because me and you, we got to have a professional, I got to I gotta look all right, you know. You're saying the face is done, but what about the hair, sis? Don't you worry, it's cooking right now for tomorrow at work. Okay, okay. Obviously, you guys already know what time it is. It is Insecure Monday, where I come and give you a recap every single episode of Insecure Season 3 and today's episode five recap is gonna leave you with your mind exploding before i move on make sure that you hit that subscribe button to become part of the swiping family also hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time i upload a new video make sure you like comment and share this video okay i know you know some people who know some people who know some people who would love to be one of my people so why not just spread the love so, as you guys know, we left off the last episode. We were going to Coachella, and we were going to have a good time because we were going to be with our girls, our besties for Lizzy, having a great old time. Okay? Okay? All right? Well, we get this Airbnb house banging, booming, bopping, okay? Issa starts it off with everyone getting a shot. Now, mind you, this is, there might have been some stuff before in this episode, but I didn't get a chance to see it, and I'm not gonna go review it because the main juicy parts happened when I started watching the show 10 minutes into it, okay? So, Issa starts off the day saying everybody has to take a shot of wine, and um, Tiffany, of course, is Prager's, and she's like, girl, I ain't drinking this, and she's like, girl, it's rosé. My mama drank wine every day when she was pregnant with me. You'll be alright, you know? So, she took a little a sip of a shot you know what i'm saying they went and got dressed and then she got a text from nathan saying to come meet her i think it was like hotel v or some party v whatever it was like basically a pool party to come on down so she was like well girls it's a change of plans we got to go over here okay so they went to the party and you know kelly's like oh is that a pool i'm gonna get wet Nathan sees Issa, calls her over and molly's like mm, okay so this is the reason why we changed our plans Okay, sis, okay. And Nathan brought two of his friends. I do not remember their names. Not at all, okay? I just know it was the Asian guy and a black guy, okay? And um, when Molly introduced herself to the black guy, he goes, oh, I got Percocet. And she's like, no no my name is molly <laughs> my name is molly you know and then um you know as soon as Issa and nathan got a little alone time for 0.5 seconds Issa kind of was just like why didn't you hit me up <laughs> why you ain't call me why you ain't text me why you ain't why you ain't say nothing to me <sighs> why you leave me alone dog it's the big rule that after an engagement, a date, or whatever happens, when there's phone numbers exchanged, you wait for the guy to contact you. You don't contact the guy. Why it's like that, I don't know. Supposedly, you could be a stage five clinger automatically if you text the guy first or call him first. I don't know how that happens. I don't know who made that rule, but that's what supposedly happens. I don't know. So, they all started taking some illegal substances, popping Molly, son. They popped Molly, all right? And they started feeling it and started feeling good. Nathan and Issa was by the pool having a nice little chit-chat. And then he started touching all her sensories and she just got all hot and bothered. They had to leave by four to get a good stop to get a good spot for Baychella, okay? So when they ended up going to the park, they realized that there's no cell phone reception or anything happening, so they should just stick together and make sure that they're saving a spot for Beyonce to come on when they're, because they're at the Coachella, right? 
So they're in the spot, and everybody's booed up. Kelly got the black guy. Molly's with the Asian guy. Issa's with Nathan. And, um, you know, you have pregnant Tiffany. And she's just like, well, dang, if I knew this was going to be Cupachella, I would have brought my boo Derek with me. You know what I'm saying? So next thing you know, everybody just kind of just started sprouting off. First, it was Nathan and Issa when they went to go get some water, okay? So as soon as she went and went to get some water with um, Nathan, then she kind of just was like so why did you call me but he basically told her that he felt like he was coming on a little bit too strong last time and he didn't want to you know push her away by coming on so strong first of all Nathan I'm gonna call a BS on that because this is the reason I'm gonna call BS on that the girl took you on her job time okay while she's supposed to be going back to work on a personal tour of LA Okay, downtown LA, whatever the case may be, Inglewood. She took you on a personal tour of LA, okay? And then she skinny dipped with you in her childhood home and almost got arrested by the cops for you and by you. And then she invited you back to her house to heat up your tacos so you can heat up her taco. <laughs> so I don't think you would be necessarily forcing yourself on her or pushing up on her too much or doing too much. Like, I don't know. That's why I call BS on it. But maybe he thinks he was doing too much. So she sees, a, Issa sees a Ferris wheel and she's like, oh my gosh, I love Ferris wheels. I get on Ferris wheels. And of course, Nathan gets on it with her without expressing that he has a fear of heights. Anyway, while on this Ferris wheel, the Ferris wheel stops. Next thing you know, she climbs on top. They start kissing. He starts sucking on the nips. And then next thing you know, she's like, I really want you. How convenient it is that she's wearing a skirt. And he's like, well, prove it. And she took them pants down. She sat up and he perked up and he... I love how the camera purposely slid in on the part where he slid the panties to the side. Because that's in so many daggone song lyrics when you just slide the panties to the side. And they had sex. Now, once again... I had a concern about this last season. Obviously, I didn't have this channel last season. But I had a concern about this last season where they don't really show contraception in this show. Like, at all. Can we get a scene where someone's phone buzzes and they got to take their birth control? Does, can something happen where there's a condom usage? Like, these are grown adults. They don't have to, pro like, promote safe sex. Like, don't have to. But you should. This is all I'm saying. Any which way... Since they're done and everybody has gotten their blessings of the night, Issa gets a phone call from Tiffany and Tiffany's freaking out. Um, and the reason why Tiffany's freaking out is because, well, when everybody left the spot, somebody was supposed to stay at the spot to keep the spot. Well, Kelly gets back to the spot. She sees these um, Europeans, these, these, um, colonizers, the white people, uh, took their spot. She's like, oh, no, Snowflake, you're gonna have to get down, uh-uh. And they're like, um, it's not a spot saver, it's a field, you know what I'm saying? And then Molly comes back, and she's like, where's my coat? Because Molly had laid her coat down to save the spot. And she's like, where's my coat? And then Kelly's like, they took our spot. So then the white girl turns around, she goes, these new people, like, oh, my gosh, these new Coachellers, like, basically... Kelly said, uh-uh, bitch, no, you not. And Tiffany comes up. She goes, no, 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 everybody calm down. And Kelly took that girl from that man's shoulders and put her down and said, I don't know who you think you messing with, but this is my spot. I'm tired of y'all gentrification, having all these people. I'm tired of y'all running up my rent. I'm tired of paying more money because of you. I'm tired of chopped cheeses being $3 instead of one. It was really really crazy they get kicked out of Coachella okay and as soon as they get kicked out that's when Beyonce started okay and Kelly's like bump it we gonna see Beyonce he tries to beeline it and run to back to the concert the man tases her and um she falls out she rolls over and she has pissed herself okay she's like I done pissed myself don't remember me like this okay <laughs> remember me better <laughs> and um they get to the house um and it cuts to Issa and Nathan um together and you know she's like everybody's really 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 mad at me I left them alone I was the one who planned this whole thing anyways 
Um, so they went to sleep, woke up the next morning, and Tiffany and Issa went to the store because they didn't have any water. So when they go to the store, um, Issa kind of sees that Tiffany isn't, like, in the best moods. So she's like, oh, what's going on, girl? What's up with you? And Tiffany basically was like, I'm not trying to be dramatic or anything, but ever since I got pregnant, it just seems like things are different. Like, you guys are different. I'm different. Um... I feel left out. I don't feel like I'm included in the group anymore. Um, I just don't feel comfortable around you guys, basically. And Issa's like, girl, we're just trying to have our last hoorah before the baby comes. You know we good. You know we Gucci. Girl, we're always going to be friends. Like, come on. And Tiffany's just like, well, I hope so. Like, I really hope so. So, I don't know. I think we're going to see... We're gonna. I think we're going to see a test of time going with the girls and their friendship. So, Issa goes inside looking at water and stuff like that and... Um, when she's going to the cash register, she sees Lawrence's best friend. I do not remember his name because he's not important right now. She sees Lawrence's best friend and of course he goes, East motherfucking ah, what is going on? And she's like, oh hey, what's up? How are we today? And he's just like, oh I'm good. So then he turns to the side he goes, yo you see this? And the camera spans and who comes behind the counter? Lawrence and I'm like oh my gosh because remember when they said Lawrence was going to come back on the show because Issa real life Issa had explained that when you have broken up with an ex and you have gone through the whole back and forth and all this other stuff and you had your final conversation like they did at the end of last season then you don't need to see your ex no more. Your ex is a non-factor. They don't need to be around anymore. They're not part of your story anymore. It I think it's going to show what Lawrence in a recap has been doing since he hasn't been on the show. Uh, well, not on the show, since he hasn't been part of the show recently. And then it's going to all connect back together at um, Tiffany's baby shower. And because there was this little scene where Dro and Jay were, Dro and Lawrence were standing next to each other. So it's all going to connect back to each other. Um, but I really, 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 really hope that nothing happens between Issa and Lawrence because Issa has thrown away all her old things of Lawrence, all the old feelings of Lawrence, has moved on, started talking to Nathan, had had some raw good good with Nathan. And I really hope that doesn't mess up her new me groove, like improving herself and leaving the old things behind. And I hope Lawrence doesn't try to dive in back into Issa. I just think they're really good two people who had closure and ended the relationship the way it was supposed to end from the end of season two. I am just like, oh girl, this is so good. This is getting so daggone juicy. Whoo, I'm just, I'm just excited. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate you. Once again, make sure you subscribe, share, like, and comment. And let me know what you thought about this week's episode. What do you think is going to happen between Lawrence and Issa? Let me know. Until next time, guys, I love you and I appreciate you more than you know, of course, because I say it all the time. And um, I will see you guys next time.